Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at the derivative of the inverse trigonometric functions, which are respectively denoted as arc sine, the arc cosine, arc tangent, arc cotangent, arc secant, and the arc cosecant. So these are the inverse trigonometric functions, and of course, they have um, derivatives. So let's have example number one. Find the derivative of y equals arc cosine of x cubed plus 1. So, ang first step natin dito is we need to identify what is u. Since ang ating inverse trigonometric function is yung arc cosine, so therefore, ang u natin dito is yung binomial which is x cubed plus 1. So, after natin makuha yung u, kukuhin natin yung kanyang derivative. So, ang derivative ng x cubed plus 1 is 3x square. Okay? So, after natin makuha si u and u prime, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula ng arc cosine para makuha yung derivative ng ating function. So, ang y prime natin ngayon is equal to negative 1 over square root of 1 minus u square times u prime. Okay? So, ito yung formula ng ating arc cosine. So, next step natin dito, substitute natin yung u at saka u prime doon sa ating formula. So, y prime equals negative 1 over 1 minus u which is x cubed plus 1 then square times u prime. Okay? Ay, sorry. So, ang u prime natin dito is 3x square. So, after natin masubstitute yan, simplify natin yung ating uh, equation. So, that is y prime equals negative 1 times 3x squared. That is negative 3x squared all over square root of 1 minus square ng x cubed plus 1. So, pag ginamit natin yung uh, square of binomial, ang lalabas dyan is x cubed square, that is x raised to 6. Okay? Then, twice the product ng first and last term natin, x cubed plus 1, uh, x cubed times 1, that is x cubed, then twice we have 2x cubed. Then, square the last term. So, 1 square, we have 1. Okay? So, simplify natin pa. We have y prime. That is equal to negative 3x square over... So, dito, uh, sa denominator natin, pwede natin i-minus si 1 dun sa 1 sa loob. Okay? So, maka-cancel yan. So, ang matitira dyan is yung ating... Uh, negative x raised to 6 minus 2x cubed. So, pwedeng ito na ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. Okay? So, let's have another example. Number 2, we have y equals arc cotangent of 2x minus 1. So, ang first step natin dito is kailangan ma-identify natin si u. So, that is our binomial which is 2x minus 1. Okay? So, using the same procedure, kukuhin natin yung kanyang u prime. So, ang derivative ni 2x minus 1 is equal to 2. Okay? So, after nyo makuha si u and u prime, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula ng ating arc cotangent which is y prime is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus u square times u prime. Okay, so applying the formula, isasubstitute lang natin yung value ni u and u prime dun sa ating formula. So y prime is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus u square, or yung u natin, which is 2x minus 1, then square, times u prime, which is 
2. Okay? So, simplify natin ngayon yung ating equation. So, negative 1 times 2, we have negative 2 as our numerator over 1 plus square natin yung 2x minus 1. Again, using the square of binomial. So, square the first term that is um, 4x squared. Then, twice the product of nung first and last. So, 2x times negative 1, that's negative 2x. Then, twice we have negative 4x. Okay? Then, square the last term. So, negative 1 squared. So, that is positive 1. Okay? So, after natin ngayon may square yung binomial, pwede natin i-add ngayon si 1 dito, dun sa 1 sa loob. Okay? So, we have y prime equal to negative 2 over, we have 4x squared minus 4x, then 1 plus 1, that is 2. Okay? So, kung mapansin nyo, yung denominator natin is Meron pang common multiple, which is yung 2, na magagamit natin para makancel yung 2 doon sa ating numerator. So, pwede natin i-factor yun. So, we have y prime equals negative 2 over, so factor out yung 2 natin. So, yung trinomial natin magiging 2x square minus 2x plus 1. So, in this case, pwede natin i-cancel si 2. So, ang magiging final answer natin ngayon is y prime equals negative 1 over 2x square minus 2x plus 1. So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. Okay? So, next example is number 3. We have y equals secant of arc secant of 5x raised to 4. So, same procedure tayo. First step natin is we need to identify yung u. So, ang u natin dito is 5x raised to 4. Then, ang ating u prime is magiging 20x cube. Okay? So, ngayon, after natin ma- kuwa si u and u prime pwede na natin gamitin yung formula ng ating arc secant dito sa taas which is neg which is 1 over the absolute value of u times the square root of u squared minus 1 times u prime okay so apply natin so again ang formula natin dito is y prime equals 1 over uh, the absolute value of u times the square root of u squared minus 1 times u prime. Okay? So, apply natin. We have y prime. So, this time, substitute natin yung u and u prime din sa formula. We have 1 over the absolute value ng u which is 5x raised to 4. Okay? So, times the square root of u square, which is 5x raised to 4 ulit, square minus 1, times u prime, which is 20x cubed. Okay? So, next, simplify natin yung ating uh, equation. We have y prime equals 1 times 20x cubed, that is 20x cubed over 5 or the absolute value of 5x raised to 4 times the square root of square natin yung 5x raised to 4 that is 25x raised to 8 then minus 1 okay so as you notice pwede natin makancel si 20 at saka si 5 dun sa denominator so, pagka kinancel natin yan, si 20 sa taas magiging 4 na lang. Since 20 divided by 5 is 4. Then, yung x cubed sa numerator natin is makakancel out. Then, yung x raised to 4 sa denominator natin is magiging x na lang. So, therefore, ang derivative ni 
arc secant of 5x raised to 4 is magiging 4 over x. Okay? Times the square root of 25x raised to 8 minus 1. So, ito ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. Sundan ba guys? So next, let's have example number 4. Y equals arc cosecant of 6 minus 2x cubed. So again, first step natin is let u is equal to 6 minus 2x cubed. Then ang ating u prime is magiging negative 6x squared. Okay? So after nyo makuha si u and u prime, Pwede nyo na ngayon gamitin yung formula ng arc cosecant para makuha yung kanyang derivative which is y prime is equal to negative 1 over the absolute value ng u times the square root of u squared minus 1 times u prime. Okay? So applying the formula, substitute lang natin si u and u prime. So we have y prime equals negative 1 over absolute value of u which is 6 minus 2x cubed then square root of u again we have 6 minus 2x cubed then square minus 1 times u prime which is negative 6x square so, simplify natin yung ating equation. So, we have y prime equals negative 1 times negative 6x squared. That is positive 6x squared. Then, dun naman sa ating denominator, magiging over the absolute value of 6 minus 2x cubed times the square root of I-square natin yung 6 minus 2x cubed. Again, applying the square of binomial natin. Square the first term, so that is 36. Then, twice the product nito ng ating first and last term. That's negative 12x cubed. Then, twice we have negative 24x cubed. Then, square the last term, we have positive 4x raised to 6 then minus 1 okay so next so mapapansin niyo dito yung 6 and 2 is may common monomial na 2 so pwede nating gamitin yon para ma-simplify yung ating nasa numerator na 6 okay so factor natin yan we have y prime equal 6x square over so factor out natin si 2 so, yung 6 minus 2x cubed sa loob magiging 3 minus x cubed na lang. Then, square root of 36 minus 1, that is 35, minus 24x cubed plus 4x raised to 6. Okay? So, pwede na natin yung i-divide si 6x squared dun sa 2. So, magiging y prime equals 3x square over we have 3 minus x cube times the square root of so dito ya arrange ko lang iuuna ko yung 4x raised to 6 sumusunod yung minus 24x cube then last term ko yung 35 so this will be now our final answer Okay? So next, let's have our last example. Number 5, we have y equals 3x cubed times tangent or arc tangent of 7x. So dito guys, kung makapansin nyo, meron tayong 3x cubed dito. Then, bago sumunod yung ating inverse trigonometric function na arc tangent. So meaning, meron tayo dito ng u at saka v na product. No, kung nakaproduct yung ating functions, ang gagamitin natin dyan is yung ating formula na product rule which is uv prime plus vu prime. Okay? 
So, ang yun natin dito is yung ating 3x cubed. Then, ang kanyang u prime is equal to 9x square. Then, ang ating v naman dito is yung ating arc tangent of 7x. Then, pag kinuha natin yung v prime natin dito, tsaka natin gagamitin yung formula dun sa taas. Okay? So, ang formula natin dun ng ating arc tangent is 1 over 1 plus u square times yung derivative ng ating u. So, dito ang u natin is yung 7x. So, try natin. We have 1 over 1 plus u square which is 7x square times yung u prime. So, ang derivative ng 7x natin dito is 7. So, simplify natin to We have uh, v prime is equal to 7 over 1 plus so, 7x then square, we have 49x square. Okay? So, after natin makuha si u, u prime, v, and v prime, pwede na natin makuha yung ating derivative ng ating function. So, using the product rule, okay, so we have uh, y prime is equal to u, which is 3x cubed, times v prime so that is 7 over 1 plus 49x square plus v so ang v natin dito is yung ating arc tangent 1 or arc tangent of 7x times u prime which is 9x square okay so isi-simplify natin to so, multiply natin si 3x cubed dun sa 7. So, that is uh, 3 times 7, we have 21x cubed over 1 plus 49x square. Okay? So, ang next natin dito is, multiply natin si 9x square dun sa ating uh, tangent. So, that is uh, 9x square then arc tangent of 7x. Okay? So, ito na ngayon uh, yung ating magiging final answer. Nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo, class. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!